Hey, what's up, YouTube? WK Dad Team DKF. Um, on Facebook, I had mentioned that I need some Thriller Rapka um, fish and swaps and fish and kicks. I got I got fish and swaps. <clears throat> I don't need O fish anymore. Uh, I do still need the fish and kicks. So yeah, if you get those, I don't need. So I just need. I guess the only thing I need is the fish and kicks. Um, it's sort of uh, you have three remove from play aqua sea serpent fish then you banish a card on the field it's pretty hot um, it's for a dead concept I'm working on I want to present to you guys I'll just kind of give you an overview so the way this is working on pa paper summon undyne um, activate effect uh, when this is summoned this will trigger shark stickers shark stickers is kind of like kage to kage Ka yeah so when this is summoned, it'll trigger this, and this will be special in my hand. Then <clears throat> Undyne will send Sunfish, which will shrink. Hmm, focus fail. Which will shrink my opponent's monster, or um, their Frilleropka, which is sort of like a, a Necro Gardener for fish. Or I can be sack, super sacky, and I can throw my shiny Abyss Soldier. So that way, if I'm holding one of these guys, Aqua Spirit of Fenrir, so like if I have Aqua Spirit in hand, I can banish, so I summon Aqua Spirit, overlay for Lever, detach, special. See what I did there? So I can go into a rank four exceed, or I can bounce, push for damage, or if I had enough to drop the Fenrir, and let's say they thought they were cute and put left tour guide or something I could bounce the Sangin with this dude and then run tour guide over with Fenrir so they skip their draw face honk that's pretty trolly um, so yeah that's part of the concept <clears throat> and then the other half of the concept summon Armageddon Knight that would trigger Kage Kage yeah I can't pronounce that shit <laughs> Um, sending Petin. Petin goes to the grave, banish, special summon another one. That would trigger uh, Tech Genus Warwolf. You know, it's like, it's really sacky because, you know, both of these decks, they're, you know, inferior to the plays you can make with Tour Guide. And so I'm just trying to come up with cool alternatives that you can make really big plays. But at the same time, you know, they're really... They're, they're, they're really burdensome on your hand size. So, um, with that in mind, in comes this card. Monster Slots. Monster Slots. Um, you target a monster on your side of the field and in the graveyard. <clears throat> then you draw a card. If that card is the same level as um, both monsters you targeted, you banish the one in the graveyard. Uh, no, wait, you have to banish the one in the graveyard first. Sorry. Then you special summon um, the monster you drew. That is, if it's the same level as the two cards you targeted. So, you know, at it, it worst, it's a uh, upstart without the life point gain. Or, and at best, it's a free special summon. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to combine the decks. I try to go straight water because I was running shit like Moray of Greed. And I was running uh, fish depth charge, but this shit's way too slow. Just, just because <clears throat> I found if I if my opponent put a Thunder King on the board, uh, the deck is just too slow. I can't even, I can't even, can't even do it. Um, I was even run, I was running Snowman Eaters, but you have to draw them, and that's kind of shitty. Snowman Eaters hot, because I'm also running the Breed Dragon, and the Breed Dragon gets back Shark Stickers. And it gets back um, Petin, so I can make fast Brionix, or I'm sorry, fast Gungnirs, fast Black, black Roses, <coughs> and just fast, 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 make fast stuff. So let me know what you guys think about the concept, and uh, thumbs up if you want to see that fleshed out. Um, here's also an update in Kribos, <coughs> excuse me, that's what I got so far. The Makayas, of course. Um, 
I want the PCY Karibo. Somebody please, please, please offer those to me. Um, I'd like to trade for those. I don't value them very high. They're not worth anything anymore, but if you had those, that'd be cool. Otherwise, I want the first edition shiny ones. I don't want to use the rare. Uh, then the wing Karibos. <clears throat> the winking Karibos would be cool, but I would, I, you know, just, I just want all the same rarity. So any rare, you know, any ones you got. Uh, I tested on Dual Network, and the Piper engine is kind of ass because uh, if I'm going to run Piper, I might as just run Mystic Piper dot deck. You know what I mean? Because um, Mystic Piper doesn't exactly have a win condition. All it is is draw a bunch of cards, you have advantage, deplete your opponent, and then you know take you know pick off your opponent's resources, remaining resources with Caius, then drop Sorcerer and BLS. <clears throat> But if your opponent knows how to play against that deck, uh, then it's pretty bad. And especially if you're just ditching Kribos and shit instead of Battle Fader. And Battle Fader is actually superior. Now, I'm not saying that you guys, because I have people saying, oh, this deck works great. And I've been destroying on DN. Okay, yeah, I absolutely believe you. But anybody who's watched, game, watched me play games on Dual Network knows that's not how it works for me. It's not even how it works for me in real life. It'll My opponent will never let me pull off combos that way so I have to run more stabilizing cards I just can't rely on drawing the pipers and then you know having the kink of you and then getting my awesome Kribo because to be honest I don't want to draw the Kribos I want the Kribos in the deck so I can get them out with flutes and so that's sort of you know anti what I want to do I'm, I'd rather run the flutes get the Kribos either to my hand or to that, so that way I don't have to use the normal summon. I only want my normal summons to either be on Alchemist or on Caius. Because I'm going to be running Double Sorcerer, Dark Arm, Black Cluster Soldier, and then this just lets me recur that shit. I'm going to be running One for One and Glow Up Bulb, and I'm considering Junk Synchron because I found out that you can make some sacky librarian plays with Junk Synchron and Multiply. Speaking of multiply, could somebody please, please, please trade me some freaking multiplies? Ooh, and look what somebody gave me. Rainbow dot freaking berserker crush. Look at that. You want it. Look at that. Isn't that just sexy? Fucking rainbow dots all up in there. So that's what I'm looking at. Um, the creative juices are flowing. Don't know how that's going to work. Um, I have good feelings about this deck. Because it's just too trollsy. Uh, this is going to be a work in progress. Um, also, if you guys are interested in seeing um, the updated hammer nail deck, and it's right there. Oh, I'll show you something sacky in my extra board now. Yeah, I'm running Giga Brilliant in my extra deck for my hammer nail deck. <laughs> so lots of goofy shit going on. WK Dad, wasting eight and a half minutes of your time, and I'm out. You want it.